it was it was 16 degrees was the low overnight and and we lost heat <laughs> Old Man Winter has woken up. From and he's his, angry. Yeah, he's somebody, angry. <laughs> somebody pissed in his cornflakes. Yeah. Tomorrow's high yeah. is 26. Yeah. And we're supposed to get rain first, then it's going to freeze that wetness. Yeah. And then get a wintry mix, maybe some sleet. And then maybe a little snow tomorrow. Shut your face. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say it. Uh, We're here for medical appointments. We don't choose to be here. There's no reason. <laughs> There's no reason. That's going to be my first question when I get to heaven. Why, why? is why God, anything why? cold? <laughs> There's a cycle. There's a method to the madness. Well, I'd like to know what it is. Because <laughs> I, I don't like it. And I, I cannot wrap my brain around... Why anybody would make a purposeful choice to live in a cold place. <laughs> Some people love the cold. Why would they, you do that? They love that? winter activities. We just are not those people. I, I would rather, and I deployed to Iraq a couple of times. And, you know, middle of the summertime, hottest part, yeah. 130, 140 degrees. You'd rather do that? Much rather. <laughs> and we're in full kit. I mean, I got the the Kevlar, the Kevlar right? vest on, helmet, <laughs> long sleeves, pants, pants boots, <laughs> gloves, eye Goggle. protection, you know, uh, hearing. I, I'm co fully covered. Yeah. And it's 140 degrees out. Indeed. Any day of the week, I'll do it before I'd be cold. That's hardcore. I hate it. <laughs> That's some serious hate <laughs> for the cold. <laughs> so let me show you what I got to do for this crap, too. God. Oh my God. Such a winder. Editing that out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fill the fresh tank. We'll disconnect the water. We'll use the pump until usually the next day during the day. Yeah, because it's above freezing. Usually. It'll be above freezing. I'll hook everything back up. And then if it's going to fall back freezing that night, we'll go back to the freshwater tank. So we'll take our showers and stuff off of city water. Yeah. So we have good pressure, yeah. all that good stuff. And then just use the pump at night for like flushing toilets, washing yes. our hands. Rinse it out, anything we yeah. dirty in the sink. So it's really not that inconvenient for us generally. Yeah. And I think this is probably going to be the longest period we'll have to go on the freshwater tank consecutively. Exactly. Yeah. Because tomorrow during the day, it's not it's even going to get anymore. above freezing. So there's no, no reason to go hook it back up well they're going to turn the water off anyway. off tomorrow, anyway so we won't have any fresh water coming from from the city spigot until friday yeah but i'm glad we're this is happening in a location where we're with people yeah because we we can go hang out in each other's rigs we can yeah. just shoot the shit and play games we can do whatever we want and we're not going to be like stuck here bored by ourselves trying to make a family friendly video and she's over here saying shoot the <laughs> it's a God, habit. It's a habit. now I gotta beep stuff out. It's a whole deal. <laughs> Sorry, it's a habit. People get all offended. All right, I will right, show you how how it goes over the next couple of days. Scout is stoked about the whole situation. He's super excited. Yeah, the guy's overflowing with energy. <laughs> and oh, oh I closed my eye because the camera got too close. And I'm gonna pretend like I don't see you. Yeah. The other eye's probably open. It is. Oh, <laughs> busted. Busted. Faking it. You're not sleeping. Look at you. Uh huh. <laughs> Such a drama queen. Jeez. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. And I'll knock on the thing. The reason that I uh, tell her to release the pressure. Um, when I knock is because the pressure is built up in the in the water hose and we had the quick disconnect so um, with the, it's pressurized and if I just turn the water off with the spigot and try to disconnect that psh, it sprays me all over so if she releases the pressure then I can disconnect everything without getting totally sprayed I do like how easy our our labeling system is here to uh, 
to work because you can see we're now on city water which is uh this one right here so that diagram matches all that and then to go to dry camping which we're about to do right now to run off the freshwater tank uh we're gonna match this one it says dry camping so it looks like the only one i have to adjust the green one right there i'll turn that up right there and then i'll go inside turn on the pump it'll pressurize the system all will be right in the world all right you can probably see now that it's raining out and uh all this is gonna freeze tonight there's gonna snow on top of that and so um we're not going anywhere for the next 48 hours but we will keep you updated on what it all looks like once it's all frozen and snowy all right i'm gonna kick my water pump on should hear a little so now you hear another water pump's loud man <laughs> right, you see the pressure pick up once it finds the line we're on that for the next two days. I'm so excited. <laughs> you look thrilled. <laughs> um, we opted to do this because um, we had the heated hose. We got rid of it because it was just a pain. Well, and then the, the and then the spigot would freeze anyway. Yeah, but we only used it once in the whole time we had it. Yeah, we only used it once. The hose didn't freeze. Yeah. But where we were at, the spigot wasn't wrapped and insulated, so the spigot froze. Yes, and it so matter. it doesn't matter that the water in your hose is liquid. Yeah. If the water in the spigot is solid. Yeah. So it didn't do it any good. It happened. Everything I talked about happened. I'll show you. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's cold. Woo! Oh man. It's cold. 23. 23 degrees outside. The high is 27. <laughs> so everything you just saw outside is not going away today. Here's the kicker. When we came to this place, we're at um, Lake Whitney Thousand Trails. Yeah. We couldn't get a 50 amp. No. So we're doing the dance. We're doing the dance. Normally we have the, I'll show you. We got the fireplace going and we got this space heater. Well, we got our water heaters to keep our water warm and running off the water pump. And if we cook anything, uh, we just have to, we just have to turn stuff off to turn other stuff back on or else we'll pop the breaker outside, which we've done twice. <laughs> Cause we forget, I forget we that forget that we got to turn stuff off to do other stuff and then pow, yeah. like we had to turn this guy off to make coffee this morning. Yeah. And, um, so today is officially PJ day. Oh yeah. We're not getting out of PJs. PJ and blanket. You got your, I haven't got my blanket I'm out yet. I'm very grateful we got our new blankets. We did get new blankets. Over the weekend when we were visiting my parents. Yeah, and I had I had this little throw that I had before. But we had yeah, little Harley throws. Yeah, I'm six foot tall. <laughs> and so I had to pick which end was sticking out of the throw. Because I like to be like yeah. this. I think it's the army in you is to just only expose yeah. from the nose up. <laughs> but when I do this, then my feet are sticking out the bottom. So I got a queen size fleece thing like this. Yeah. So I can almost like double it over even and you just, just in wad myself. Yourself in. It's, it's funny. <laughs> but we did some stuff in preparation too. We, uh, I checked, we filled the propane. We made sure everything was good. Mm -hmm. I filled up the tank in the truck just in case we had to drive anywhere. Yeah. And get emergency supplies. We do have four wheel drive in our truck. Mm -hmm. um, we filled the fresh water tank. Yeah, we filled the fresh water tank all the way up. We grocery shopped. And um, I took the generator out. Make sure that works. <laughs> I fired it up, make sure it's good because I didn't know, I didn't know th how much ice accumulation there would be. And if there's too much ice accumulation, that can cause branches to go down and power lines to go down and power to go down. And we're out here in Whitney, Texas. The population in Whitney, Texas is 3,000. <laughs> so 
I don't know how quickly they're. I don't know how we're how much be, of a priority Whitney, Texas, would be. We'd be low on the totem pole. Yeah, so we got to make sure our generator is <laughs> running. Get in there. <laughs> Wrap yourself up. Oh, look at you. <sighs> I'm all set for the day. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> well, it's still like 16 degrees outside, and Scout wants out. I can't believe he wants out. You want out? You went out of there? That's what he does when he wants out. He bangs his face on the thing. Hi there. What's my handsome baby doing? What's he doing? So we'll put him up here in the window. He has heat lamps up here and he'll probably stay up there all day. <laughs> he did yesterday. Let me hang out up here. Yeah, look at that. No, buddy. 16 degrees was the low overnight, and and we lost heat. <laughs> we lost heat early in the morning, though, and it always happens when you're in bed. You never lose heat like in the middle of the day when you're just hanging around not doing anything. It waits till you're fully unclothed <laughs> in your nice warm bed, and then I wake up at seven o'clock in the morning like. It's cold in here. I'll explain. I'm gonna go outside and really? show you and explain. What do you mean, really? Because <laughs> you hate the cold. And you're willing to go outside. I can't explain it just by telling you. I have to show you. <laughs> I'm gonna go outside and I'll explain to you what happened, how we lost it. By the way, we have heat back now. So cold out here. Oh my gosh. Well, so what happened was I went and I got uh, one of our propane tanks full because one was half full and the one on this side was empty. Well, the place that is around here is charges by the container, not by how much propane it is. So even if it's half full and you get it filled up, still same price to fill it up. So I was like, well, we have half on that one side. Now I got, this one's empty, so I'll take this one. Well, when I put it back in, I did not, well, a couple of things, there's a couple of things that, that could have happened. Either there was a little bit of line, air in the line and uh, the gas stop that we have sensed that and thought it was a leak and cut the, the gas off to this one. Or when I put it in, I forgot to prime it. That's probably the more likely story. <laughs> what I mean by that is, so, so the gas stop is this thing right here. What will happen is if there's a leak in the line or a loss of pressure in the line anywhere in the whole system, this thing will pop up and it'll basically put a doorway here to keep gas from going into your system because it thinks there's a leak and it wants to shut this off so that there's not like an explosion or something and so so when you connect this back up you have to you have to reprime this so that the door opens up and the gas flows through and i think i forgot to push this a couple times to prime it so um, when that half a tank on the other side ran out, it's supposed to just kick over to this one and it didn't. So at like seven o'clock this morning, I went uh, into the living room cause I was really cold and, um, it was like seven degrees colder than what we had set on the thermostat and the, it still said the thermostat was set to kick on, but it wasn't kicking on. And so I was like, there's gotta be an issue with the propane. I know we're not out of propane. So I went back in there and the gas stop was not primed. It was probably a user error on my part. It's a good thing to have though, because if there is a leak in your propane line, it'll, it'll cut everything off and you won't have a, a leak or lose all your propane or have an explosion. So if you want a, a gas stop or two, if you have two tanks, um, we'll leave a link in the description of this video. And if you use promo code WAGS, W-A-G-G-S, you'll even get a, a discount. So, bonus. Whew. Well, the uh, cold snap is almost over. We were supposed to be leaving tomorrow, but uh, we decided to stay for a couple extra days. We can stay up to three weeks at Thousand Trails, and we were only scheduled to be here for two weeks. So we said, well, We'll stay for a couple more days, let everything melt off, make sure everything's good because even though the roads are starting to melt off and clear up because it's getting into the 40s today, we still have like stuff like this where, you know, our stairs are frozen over, welcome mats frozen over. 
So uh, if we were to push these stairs up in there on travel day, um, they would just melt in the inside and be a big water puddle. So we're gonna let these melt off. We could probably scrape it off ourselves, but it still would have like some water and snow and stuff. So, well, at least the good news is the water's back on. I can go hook up the water and I'll still have to disconnect it at night, uh, every night for the next couple nights. Whoa, <laughs> a little slippery. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I'll stop to disconnect it at night a little bit. I'm going to pull the truck probably out of here today because there's a patch right here. That's what I just slipped on. I was walking through here and there's a little patch where the truck shade is right there. <laughs> I should have walked under here, but I walked through here and uh, you about got a first hand view of me busting my ass. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hook the water back up. And um, that's pretty much it for the... Uh, for the worst part of this it's supposed to get up to the 40s today after that next day 50s next day 60s so or uh i think we're good now this is much better <laughs> oh man snow's gone sunshine's out it's like 50 something degrees yeah it's nice now this is much better <laughs> feeling much happier we yeah. did have to delay a, little, a couple of days uh just because we had to wait for some ice to melt off before yes. moving to over to Tawakini. Mm -hmm. but like you said earlier at least we didn't have to go through this all alone no, we had we, company. We had friends. We're just like uh, two spots over is uh, Day's Great Adventure. Yep. A couple spots over from that is Melanetti, okay. Living Free Zip Codeless, and then right down the hill down here is uh, Living the Silver Life. And so we got to hang out with them, even yeah. though we were kind of all trapped. We did yesterday get to go out to lunch. Yes. Had a good time. Mm -hmm. Got to get out of the trailer, which it's is great. Sun. After being trapped in for yeah. several days, it's good which to see we've sun. been doing a lot of lately. <laughs> So we're glad to be out of the RV. Yeah. We're glad to be moving tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We're glad the sunshine's back. <laughs> Missed it. And we're glad we had friends to hang out with. Yeah. While we were enduring these hardships. That's right. Misery loves company. Yeah. We had company. <laughs> well, that's it. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you have had similar issues and craziness with cold weather. Uh, hopefully this will never happen to us again because we're going to be very far south every winter from now on. <laughs> yes, according to you, this is never going to happen again. No, not doing it. This is me shutting down. <laughs> We've all seen you shut down. <laughs> we know what that looks like. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we hope you enjoyed this. This is kind of a, just uh, hanging out and kind of uh, seeing what we went through during this little cold mm -hmm. snap. But uh, uh, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, look down in the description. It'll tell you everything you need to know. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.